Hey, I hope you're awesome. My name is Sydney Tao. Today we're in the Gauteng province. We're visiting one of my utmost, utmost favorite places. Since I was a young boy, we are in the southwestern part of Johannesburg. Today we are visiting Gold Reef City. <laughs> So Gold Reef City was initially a gold mine. It is accessible through the M1 south of Johannesburg. It became a theme park after the mine was closed down in 1971. Initially the services that people could access from Gold Reef City were mine tours. Just to give you an idea what it's like being inside a mine shaft. As the years went by, Tsoho San bought the area and they turned it into the Gold Reef City we know today. There's currently at least 13 rides and a couple of different amusement parks which is fitting for people of all ages from kids all up until you're an adult. So today we'll be checking out the theme park, we'll be checking out the food to eat. I'm not too hopeful knowing this is a theme park so there won't be an exclusive dining experience but these are the types of places where you go in and you find out they have the best fries or they have the best hot dogs so today I'm remaining hopeful that once we get inside we'll be able to have some good food once we get inside we'll be able to play quite a bit I'll take you guys through some of my favorite rides um, as the day goes by there's some rides I haven't been on I think the last time I was in Gold Reef City was when I was a kid and then again when I had first just started university so today we're visiting Gold Reef City again and I'll be taking you guys with us enjoying some of the rides and then as time goes we'll check out the food and then just see what's out there to eat so just take along with us and just have a good day okay ciao Getting access into Gold Reef City is fairly easy. You book your tickets online, just Google Gold Reef City and then you're able to book online. Each ticket costs 200 Rand a person. That's the price for an adult. I'm not quite too sure what it costs for kids and to what age limit, um, but I'll add it in the description below. Any limitations you have, you have to always have your mask on just to make sure you're safe from COVID. And as soon as we're inside, I'll keep you guys updated on some of the new changes due to the lockdown that have come about. I think from the 1st of April, it is mandatory that you book your ticket online you can no longer book them physically when you get to the gate but you go and collect your armband to access the theme park after you've booked your ticket online because it was initially a gold mine so now majority of the rides and the fixtures that are around the park are mostly aligned with sort of the grounds of a mine and that's how the whole area started off um, people were given tours in the mine shaft as i had said so you'll see that a lot of the sculptures and the art that's around the theme park it mostly includes mining machines mining shafts sort of pulleys and mechanisms so yeah
that's usually the one thing I do first when I get to the theme park. To start off with something a bit more lighter, that's not too too shocking for the nerves, um, something like the anaconda. Just usually gets you into the mood of being tossed around quite a bit. So the golden loop runs for a couple of seconds and it's just a great way to get your energy started when you're starting off um, your play. So after that, I'll give you guys a review of how I feel and it's just going to be fun. All right. So we just got off the golden loop. You just, you, you never have enough with this ride. It's a couple of seconds, probably under 10 seconds. It just runs quick in out. It's always a great way to kick start your day. Um, now we're heading towards the Anaconda to try to see how that's gonna go. Let's go check it out. Contrary to the Cobra that was in Rotanga Junction in Cape Town, which only ran for 29 seconds. So you get a bit more thrill with the Anaconda because it's slightly a bit long. But you know with these rides, it's never just enough. You always just want to go again. So let's just get our adrenaline pumped again. Let's go. That's why the queues extend as long as probably the Anaconda itself. Um, it's been at least 10 minutes holding the queue and we're still going strong. And I'll take you guys through how I feel afterwards. I'm very excited to be on the Anaconda again. At least it gives you a good almost two minutes of fun and thrill. Um, after that, we'll check out a couple of places, but I think there's only one cart that's working today because usually they have two that run concurrently and that makes the traffic move a lot faster. But um, today we only have one, so we'll see how that goes. It's safe to say the anaconda is the best everybody is feeling great even those that yeah, got yeah, on yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. Again, they, again. they got on it for the first time and they wanted to go again so i think any person who comes here you feel the solid raw thrill when you get on the anaconda it's one of the most fantastic although it feels a bit scary as you keep going but we had an amazing time My very 
first time on it, so I do not know what to expect. Um, all I know is that we are about to get wet and probably get a bit of a headache from all the flipping. So I'll, I'll let you guys know how I feel afterwards. This one is making me nervous because I've never been on one. Each time I've been here, it's been closed. So um, let's see how that goes. Luckily, I didn't get wet because we had the back seat. So, if ever you come here, make sure you stay at the back. Then you won't get the water. Other than that, you're gonna catch a couple of drops and you're gonna feel a bit wet. But overall, it's a great ride. I think the adrenaline is there. It's very exciting. And yeah, anyone will enjoy it. Check it out. reached the end of the day and firstly i want to apologize uh the park was so busy and we had lost so much time in the queues that from the time when we got there at 12 noon until 5 p.m when the park closes we were only able to get on four rides that's how busy it was so we couldn't find time to squeeze in a segment to eat so i'll be making a separate video of all the food options that are available inside the theme park but i just want to send a big shout out to you thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching i'd like to ask you to please press the like button it will only take you one second to just click the like button and thank you so much for doing so i will let you guys know when the next video with the food is ready and thank you so much for joining us today we had such an amazing time and i hope you're feeling awesome all right ciao